Let's start working on script 5A. The goal of this module is for you to select any river basin or a watershed that you're interested in, and you want to download the water bodies as shapefiles. So first things, let's find a watershed that we want to work with. Earth Engine has this data from a data set called Hydrosheds, which are the vector polygon boundaries of different watersheds. Let's go and search for this data set. So I'm going to search for this data set called Hydrosheds. Uh, this has got a lot of products that are useful for hydrologists. This, all of these data sets are derived from the SRTM elevation model. So SRTM was, is a global uh, DEM, and there was a lot of hydrological analysis done, and the output of those analysis are part of the Hydrosheds product family. We have some tables, which are the vectors. Uh, so we have the basin that was detected from those DEMs uh, using the hydrological model. So uh, you have the basins at different hierarchical level. At the top level, you have the largest basins. So level one would be the largest river basins. Level two would be the sub basins within each of those basins. And again, they are kind of hierarchical. So you see all the level two basins contained within a level one basin, and you can, can keep going. So again, you can use any levels uh, of data basins that uh, kind of suits you. Uh, the basin that you want to work with may be at a different level uh, than what we are working right now. So you can adjust the level that you want to work with depending on the basin. Also, some of the users might say, oh, I work with this basin and the shape of the basin is wrong. Uh, well, it could be because this is derived from SRTM. SRTM is more than 20 years old at this point. So the basin that you're working with may be derived from a newer DM uh, or kind of delineated locally using a topological map. So if you have access to a more current boundary for your river or watershed, use that. But if you want to use something that's ready to available, you can use the Hydrosheds one. Uh, let's use the level seven data. I'm going to use the level seven and import it here. So we have the uh, basin boundaries at level seven. I'm going to name this as hydro basins. Uh, let's add it to the map to see what it looks like. Remember, this is now a feature collection. It's vector data. And you can now see this is a global layer of all the basins at that particular level. Let's go and inspect a particular feature. So let's say you can zoom to a region which you are familiar with and say, I want to work with this basin. If you inspect this, this is all the properties you get for this basin. Remember, this has been delineated from a DEM using an algorithm. So we don't have a name for this basin. You might know the name of this, uh, but it just for now, what you get is just an ID. You get a unique ID that identifies this basin. If you see that, oh, this kind of roughly matches my basin, but my basin is actually a combination of these two basins. So you go to level six, you'll see a larger boundary. If you say oh, my basin is actually much smaller than this, go to level eight and you'll see those polygons, right? I chose level seven because uh, the basin that uh, I was working with when I developed this course is this basin near the city of Bangalore called Arkhavati Basin. Uh, this is the Kavati River Basin that was of interest uh, when I developed this course. So, and this is the exact shape of the basin. So it kind of matches in level seven. So I looked at this. So let's see, I want to just extract the boundary, the geometry of this basin so I can create a map of the basin. Let me inspect this. And I have the properties here. So I want to select this basin using this ID. So let's apply a filter. We take our hydro basins, we'll apply our PE filter EQ, and we'll say I want to select the polygon with high base ID equals this number. And now let's display the filtered collection and see if that matched. Right, so now we have this basin that we selected from this collection. If you want to use this as a geometry to clip my layer, we can just say my geometry 
is filtered dot geometry. And now I have a polygon that I can use as my geometry for filtering, for flipping, etc. Right. So now we kind of use a built-in feature collection to select basin and extract this geometry. There's a question, is it similar to hydrological unit codes, HUCs, uh, that's by USGS? Uh, I don't think so. The, these are done by the Hydrosheds, which is a project by WWF. Uh, USGS has their own watershed product for US, uh, which has got its own codes. And that's also available in our thing. So if you want working in the US and you want to get those USGS basin boundaries, you can get that from Earth Engine as well. But they are different. This is a totally different project. All right, let's do the exercise. Right now you can explain. 